Hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm with the City of Albuquerque's Environmental Health Department. Today, I'm going to show you how to pick up needles safely that you might find in our community. While needles in our community might be associated with illegal drug use, they can also be used for legitimate medical purposes. In either case, it's important to treat all needles as if they are infectious. With a few household items, you can safely pick up and dispose of these needles. Let's get started. Before we begin, you're going to want to collect the items that you will need in order to safely pick up these needles. This includes a container, preferably a hard plastic container. Uh, ones such as glass containers um, might shatter when thrown in the garbage, so don't use glass. Also, containers that are easily compressible will allow the needles to poke through. You also don't want to use containers that have a large opening, such as this, because the needles might poke you as well. Containers that are also too small, such as this container here, while it is a hard plastic, the needles might not fit in there, so don't use these objects. What you're going to want is something that is hard plastic, such as this bottle here, or a bleach or detergent bottle. You can also use a sharps container if you have one available. You're also going to want a pair of tongs. These ones are great because they have a silicone tip, will add some extra grip strength when picking up the needle. You're going to want a pair of gloves. These can be either latex, vinyl, or even leather utility gloves. The gloves are not intended to prevent an accidental needle stick, but rather to protect yourself from any infectious materials that may be on that needle. You're going to also want some tape and a waterproof marker. When you go to pick up a needle, it's important that you bring all the equipment with you to the site. You're going to want to take your container and place it on the ground, preferably on a flat surface. This will prevent any needles that might be in the container from falling out. You're then going to put on your gloves. Using your tongs, you're going to pick up the needles making sure that the tip of the needle is down and away from you. And then just simply drop it into the container. Continue to pick up all of the other materials, um, including any caps or any other objects that are nearby. Make sure that the lid on your container is secure Secure it with an additional piece of tape. And then using your waterproof marker, write on the container, sharps do not recycle. This entire container can then be disposed of in the garbage. It's really important to remember when, you pick, when you're picking up needles to never attempt to bend, snap, or recap the needles. Simply put the entire syringe into the container. In addition, never put needles directly into the garbage. They must always be in a hard plastic container to protect another individual from getting poked through the garbage. Finally, children should never pick up needles. Instruct them instead to contact an adult and allow the adult to pick up the needle. For more information on needle disposal and other household hazardous items, please contact our city website. Thank you.